Welcome. This is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of July 29th. So your theme for this week is this very lovely, very beautiful Queen of Wands. Ferocious, isn't she? Um, wands is the element of fire in the realm of spirit, creativity, career, and work. This queen um, knows what she wants and goes after it passionately, with passion and will. And so use this week, be aware this week of where you need to show up as the queen. The queen is the mistress of her element. Um, she knows what to do with it, how to use it, and how to direct the energy of it. So really be aware of when you need to be the Queen of Wands this week. Your focus for the week is the Four of Cups. Cups is the element of water in the realm of heart, emotions, dreams, intuition, and creativity. You can see the three cups down here uh, to the side of the man, but his focus is up here on the fourth cup. Four is a number of stability, and maybe we need to bring in this fourth cup to make us feel like we're a little more stable in our creative work. But we also want to be careful that we're not focusing on the new thing we haven't done yet because it seems easier and more attractive than the three we already have at hand. The action for this week is another cup, the Eight of Cups. That's twice four. Um, you can see the full moon here with the sign of Pisces on it. Pisces is the last sign in the, um, the zodiac. And it's that reaching for the new vision, ready to start the new, the new journey, the new quest, the new opportunity. Before we can do that, though, at number eight, we're not at the finish yet. We have things we need to finish up, just like within the four. We have things we need to finish up, and perhaps some uh, projects or opportunities we need to let go of because they're no longer emotionally fulfilling. You can see that above the waterline is the, the back or the torso of a man, below the waterline, the legs of an octopus. And you can imagine how those eight cups filled with water might keep him from moving forward. So your action this week is to release some of those emotional attachments. And then finally the gift, which some to often doesn't seem like a gift, is the tower. This major arcana card, you can see the lightning bolt striking the leg of the tower which threatens its foundation. It's four legs, just like the four of cups earlier. Um, the idea of this cup, or this card, because it's in the position of gift, is a little bit of shaking up around your creative work. Just enough to let you transform either the work or your creative processes. This card, as shaky and scary and upsetting as it may seem in the moment, is an opportunity for transformation. So as we look at the story for the week, we've got wands, the fire, we have cups, and we have the tower with fire as well. And we so we start off with this theme of being the mistress of your creative work from the element of fire, that passion and will that you bring to it. How are you going to don the robes of the queen and really move forward with your work this week with a sense of power and enthronement? Then focus on what am I spending too much time on the next new idea or do I need to complete some of the projects that I already have at hand? And if so, then do I need to really be aware of what are the projects or opportunities I need to let go of, the emotional attachments to them that might be holding me back? And then finally be prepared to rock and roll because this is a gift and opportunity this week for transformation in a project or your creative work. And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com wishing you divine musings.